Vanya King, thanks for being with us on USTA.com. Thank you. Smile on your face, <laughs> and we know why, into the semi-finals <laughs> of the French Open. Tell me how you're feeling. Uh, excited, of course, but I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> I mean, every I've had a long week, and I've had great results, and I'm really excited that we pulled out another tough one today. Every match is tough, and I know the next one will be tough, but... Uh, the most importantly, we fought our best, we fought our hardest, and we tried our um, we tried our best, and we enjoyed a lot. Hey, you and Yaroslava Shvedov have really had some grinders out there. <laughs> yeah, the physios are not too happy about me because <laughs> because in my singles, uh, my first round singles was almost three hours, and my second round singles was again almost three hours, and. Other than our first round doubles, all of our doubles have been almost three hours as well. So <laughs> I guess I really like the clay here. Well, it seems like it. I mean, you, you two have really been putting the runs on the board. You've had some <laughs> great results. Just remind us how you all got together. Because um, Wimbledon it's last quite a, year was yeah, the first it's time. Yeah, quite a unique story. It was, it was our first Grand Slam together. And uh, I was supposed to play the whole year with Annalena Gronefeld, who's a really good friend of mine. But she got injured at Indian Wells, and she was unsure whether she was going to come back. So through the clay court swing, I was kind of waiting for her. So each tournament, I was playing with a different partner. And I told her, look, for the grass court season, I would like to find somebody for the grass court season, which is actually really short. It's only three weeks. Uh, three tournaments is the grass court season. And uh, she said, well, I hope I'll be ready, but go ahead and find somebody. So Slava and I set in like a little bit before French Open to set for the three grass court tournaments. And so Birmingham was our first tournament together. We made the semis there. And then we played the next week in the Netherlands in Herdogenbosch and we lost in the finals. And so she came to me or she looked at me after we lost in the finals of Herdogenbosch and she said, okay, so last week we lost in the semis and this week we lost in the finals. So next week we gotta, we gotta win it. And I was like, Okay, why not? You know, <laughs> why not? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and then we we actually we won it, <laughs> which uh, which came as a okay. To be honest, it came as a complete surprise. I mean, I don't think both of us thought we were going to do it, but um, yeah. And then after that, we played the hard court season. We actually didn't play such a good uh, summer swing in doubles but then we went to the US Open and I think the magic came again um, also the the format in Grand Slams is three sets and no ads so I think it gave us some more time like to, uh, say in a match if we got down early then we were able to come back um, in WTA events sometimes it's, it goes pretty quick but I mean we you know fought as well every match we just thought about every match and every time we go out on the court we just think one match at a time go out there fight enjoy uh, and that's that's how we play our best and that's how we have fun on the court you, you it looks like you're having a lot of fun on the court, on, on the court <laughs> laughing yeah. and joking. Or, yeah. well, I wouldn't say joking necessarily. <laughs> Sometimes. But, <laughs> really? If only there was a camera. Is that right? <laughs> Could you we, ex <laughs> please explain? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, sometimes on the change of ends, we don't even, well, a lot of times on the change of ends, we don't even talk about what we're going to do because we get to the to the game, the start of the game, and then we decide what we're going to do. But sometimes in the change of ends, we're, you know, talking about uh, where she wants to go on holidays or her boyfriend or boys and gossiping and, you know, like girl talk. And sometimes it's good just to relax like this, you know, to not be too stressed on the court. But we're also, we're really, really close. We're really close friends. So... Do so you socialize off the court as well? Yeah. Like, um... If we're at the same tournament, we'll probably go to dinner together at least once or twice. I mean, and then we hang out together at the at the site usually every day. Um, I consider her one of my really good friends. So this is going through now, French Open. Um, do you look too far ahead? Semi-finals, a couple <laughs> more matches. No, I mean, you can't. You can't because... Uh, we've made it this far and we played every match you know the last three matches we played a really tough three sets and uh, we go out there and I think 
especially in doubles, like anything can happen. And right now, at this point, at the later stage of the, stages of the tournament, everyone is good, and everyone has proved themselves that they can play capably at a high level. And you know, everyone's beaten good players at at this point in the tournament. So you can't go out there with any expectation. I mean, perhaps if I was Venus and Serena, <laughs> I could. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but I'm not, so, uh, and I don't even know what goes through their heads, you know, and, or maybe if I was Roger, you know, yeah, if I was Roger. I who, who would you rather be, <laughs> Serena or Roger? Uh, I think Serena is to the women's tennis as Roger is to men's tennis, so, um, or they're similar. I mean, look, like, I go out there and I enjoy and I have fun and, um, tennis is tennis is a game. It's a sport, and it's my job, and I enjoy it so much. But I try to put things in perspective, you know, not not try to expect too much, um, and go out there and have fun. And because I mean, that's all you can do in life, you know, enjoy every day and not expect anything. I, wanna, uh, I love asking players. Um, what they do with their trophies. Where do they put them? <laughs> Where's the Wimbledon one? Where's uh, the, the US Open one? Um, the Wimbledon one is at home with my parents, and the US Open one is actually at my coach's house right now. He said that he would um, safe keep it for me because he said, oh yeah, I don't trust you, you're gonna lose it in your apartment. And But I think he just wanted to you know, have it there and to look at it when he wanted to. So. Um, when I go back home, I think I should take it back from him because I want to look at it too. <laughs> but um, I actually have a terrible memory. Like two years ago, we made finals of the mixed here at Roland Garros. And uh, I actually, I left it at Wimbledon. I was staying at an apartment and I left it at Wimbledon. So, I mean, for me, the, the special moments is the memories that you have, you know, and it's not just the trophy. I mean, of course, the trophy is a great memento, but I think it's the, the, the good memories and the good times that you had, and it's, it's the, you can never take away that feeling. You know, you'll always have that special moment. Well, on that note, let's hope there are gonna be plenty more wonderful <laughs> memories at the French Open for you, Vanya King. Thanks for being with us on USTA.com. Thank you.